Hi, Joe Glavin here with Philadelphia Floor. Uh, today we're on a job site where the customer has removed indoor outdoor carpet, VCT tile, and underneath was a maple floor. What we're going to do today is test different methods for removing mastic, cutback adhesive, and old carpet pad that's glued itself to the floor. So there's all kinds of different substances on the floor over the maple that we're going to remove. We're going to try methods using essentially a buffer. On the bottom of the buffer we'll have a mastic removal tool that has six cutting edges on it. The first thing you'll want to do is inspect the floor surface for any screws, nails, or staples. These can damage your equipment and the tooling. After prepping the surface, install the block and adjust the buffer and begin the process. As you can see, the buffer was set up for dust collection. There's a hose, a skirt attached to a tank vac. We removed the skirt as the debris was getting caught underneath and clogging the cutting blades. As you can see, the buffer is kicking out pretty large pieces of debris. There was no need to keep the skirt on as the vacuum system wasn't picking up this debris. All it was doing was clogging the blades. Here we're removing the cutback adhesive and felt and transitioning over to the mastic. As you can see, the block's doing a pretty good job of removing material in one pass. It's important to realize that this is going to take time. Adjust your pace so that the material is being removed. We're going against the grain here, but whatever, whatever is working with the grain, against the grain, is fine. This block is not going to damage the floor. It's specifically made for a wood floor, and it's a 50 grit abrasive. As you can see, there's quite a bit of debris flying around. It's important that the debris get swept up as you go. By sweeping up the debris, you're increasing the effectiveness of the abrasive. You don't give the abrasive a chance to clog if you keep the debris out from underneath the buffer. As we transition into the carpet pad, anyone that's tried to remove carpet pad that's been stuck to a hardwood floor for 50 years knows that it can really be a challenge. Hawk is doing a great job at removing the carpet pad. As you can see, it's bare wood in almost the first pass. When we started the process, there were three methods we were going to use to remove the mastic. One was the titanium block. As you can see, it's doing a great job. The only problem is it clogs quickly. The surface area of the titanium block allows for the mastic to be reheated and get gummy again. It reactivates the adhesive and clogs the abrasive. While this is a method used Pretty often, the process of taking the block off, cleaning it with solvent, putting it back on, and continuing can be tedious. Another method we used was a belt sander. With a 24 grit, we only got four passes before the belt shot off and we had to shut the machine down. In just a few passes, the amount of material needed to be cleaned out of the machine off of the wheels and off of the top roller disabled the machine. The top roller caked like this will not allow the belt to track properly. As you can see, the mastic removal block hardly has any debris clogging the abrasive. This keeps the abrasive effective and removing material from the maple floor. This clearly made it the best choice for getting this job site down to bare wood. After all, getting to bare wood is where we need to be for this sander to be effective. To purchase the mastic removal block, go to phillyfloor.com.